This is Upton upon Severn. These days people can enjoy the river in the knowledge that a 2007 scale event wouldn't make any difference. That's because they're protected by a four million pound scheme of gates, embankments and pumps. The finished defences consist of a permanent flood wall next to the river and a 500 metre long flood embankment that prevents water overflowing the defences. Construction work began in 2011, but with limited government funds available, getting funding meant showing the need for defences in Upton was greater than anywhere else. And that meant demonstrating that the proposed scheme was technically possible, showing that it wouldn't increase the flood risk elsewhere in the area, and most importantly, showing that the financial benefits of building the scheme significantly outweigh the construction costs something called cost-benefit analysis. Here at Upton we were able to make that economic case, we were able to undertake the cost-benefit analysis and show that there was benefit in, in providing a flood defence here. Even if there's a, a fairly small number of properties affected in Upton, because they're affected so frequently then the damages can really add up during the design life of this, of this flood wall. The old temporary barriers also needed 20 or 30 people to put them up and cost thousands of pounds each time they were deployed. The new scheme only needs a couple of people to close the gates, so it's much cheaper to run. Here, Environment Agency staff are practicing closing the watertight gates built into the embankments to enable people to access the river and move around when it's not in flood. A few weeks later, and raised river levels demonstrate just how effective the defences are. But the same factors that led to this scheme being funded means there's little chance of a major flood defence being built in Tewkesbury any time soon. In Tewkesbury, flood protection simply isn't possible. There are so many local streams and rivers that everyone would need its own flood scheme. People in Tewkesbury may simply have to live with flooding. The other issue is the benefit-to-cost ratio that any scheme would bring. 